My name is Dr. Sylvia Ramirez. I am the Medical and Scientific Director of Cutis Medical Laser Clinic and the Chief Physician for Optimogenics Age Management Medicine. Today, I would like to focus on nutrition and its impact on longevity and health. Nutrition is one very important element of the Optimogenics Age Management Program, which also includes the right exercise, hormonal optimization, and improvement in mindset. Key to longevity from a nutritional perspective is to keep the glucose level, which is our blood sugar level, as low as possible. When glucose or blood sugar levels are high, the body undergoes a much faster rate of glycation than normal. Glycation simply means the attachment of sugar to our protein molecules. And what happens then is that glycated proteins are less effective, leading to problems in the body. The control of blood sugar levels is key as a preventive measure because longevity largely depends on the avoidance of degenerative and chronic diseases. One of the most important aspects of our nutritional approach to prevention of chronic disease is the component and control of blood sugar. Whenever we eat a carbohydrate, this is broken down into our bloodstream into sugar molecules. Now sugar is very important. It is important for our muscles to function and for our brain to work. However, when we eat an excess amount of sugar, this sugar results in insulin secretion. Insulin is released from the pancreas and it's helpful because it lowers the level of sugar in our blood. In the presence of insulin, this excess sugar is converted into fat. Now, when there's a high amount of blood sugar in our system as well, this can lead to what's known as glycation. Glycation means the attachment of sugar molecules to proteins. Protein is important for our daily function. And when there's sugar attached to the protein, this does not function as well. So this can lead to heart disease, diabetes, problems with our eyes, our kidney function, even aging and skin concerns. As an overview, there are three types of foods to eat, proteins, carbohydrates, and fat. In the context of blood sugar and insulin, we are talking mainly about carbohydrates because proteins and fats have minimal effect on blood sugar levels. Carbohydrates come in various forms and not all carbohydrates are equal. However, all carbohydrates are absorbed in the blood as glucose or sugar. That's true whether you eat a bowl of sugar, some noodles, or a cup of broccoli. The difference is how quickly the blood sugar rises. Now I'd like to talk about the importance of a concept known as the glycemic index. This relates to how fast the level of the sugar increases in our blood. And so you could eat a bowl of broccoli, which is a form of carbohydrate, or you could eat a piece of white bread, which is another form of carbohydrate. The difference between the two types of carbohydrates is that white bread increases the level of sugar in our blood much faster, so that you lead to the insulin spike much higher. In contrast, when you eat broccoli or other types of leafy vegetables, although these are also carbohydrates, the sugar needs to be separated from the cellulose or the fiber. This results in a delay in the absorption of sugar, and so the rise of sugar in our bloodstream is much slower and more gradual. So when we wake up in the morning, we have breakfast. We think the kind of food we're having is healthy. So let's say we have a piece of toast or porridge. Uh, what happens is this is converted into sugar in our blood and our body responds by secreting insulin. Insulin then lowers the blood sugar. Within an hour or a couple of hours, our blood sugar crashes. We're tired, sleepy, lethargic, and we want to eat again. This starts this cycle of eating sugar and carbohydrates, release of insulin, and having a persistently high insulin level in the blood. In the presence of insulin, we cannot break down our fat. And so this is a vicious cycle of fat deposits, inability to break down fats, and then over time, we also develop a condition known as insulin resistance, 
which is pre-diabetic. It means the insulin in our system doesn't work so well because the body is used to seeing so much insulin levels in the blood. And when that happens, when diabetes occurs, our blood sugar rises in the body, we can't use the sugar properly, and the sugar that is circulating in our blood destroys every organ system in our body, whether it's kidneys, the heart, the eyes, the nerves, and so forth. We invite you to come to experience the Optimogenics consultation process. During the consultation process, we will evaluate your current health status, your medical history, do a physical examination, and take some important lab tests in order to determine whether our program is suitable for you. After which, we design a comprehensive nutrition exercise a mindset change as well as hormonal management if necessary depending on the initial assessment that we complete. For additional information please contact our clinic at the following number and in addition please visit our website at www.optimogenics.com.